What's up, y'all? We are at our next pickup, Northern Metal Fab in Baldwin, Wisconsin. Hi, Ziki. We're in the next pickup. We're getting loaded right now. We've got some funky, dunky stuff going to a construction site. Oh, Ziki's gonna lock me out. Hold on. See, this is a little door cover I got for them not to block the locks, but he still gets it open somehow. I don't know. Still, still press the button, Sazuki. All right. The hell? This is what's on the front right now. He made me take my tire off. He said he's gonna take up my whole trailer. And it is taking up my whole trailer, baby. They put some board down right here, so it's not metal on metal. That's good, that's good. Probably gonna get some funky dunky thing back here. I think they're putting the last thing on here. I hope this is the last thing. I thought I was missing a strap. I knew it. Ooh, I had another pink strap. Any day, baby. Come on, let's get her loaded. Let's get her locked and loaded. Alright, so this is the full load right here. Got two of those pieces up front. This is all bundled together. I to throw a couple of straps all over these babies. They got two more loop de loops on the bottom, on the back. Two more of these things, like the same thing I got on the front. I got something stuck underneath here. I'm gonna have to figure out a strap. So this is gonna be a fun one. One of them funky donkey loads, babies. But let's get her done. <laughs> you already know how we do it around here. I got my Big Rick Becca merch on today again. This is my old logo. I got a new logo out up on my website. If y'all want to go check out my website, BigRickBecca.com. Check out my merchandise I got there. Go get yourself a hoodie. Let's go. Some Big Rick Becca merch. Secured. We're all strapped down, locked and loaded, and uh, we're taking this baby to New Carlisle, New Carlisle, uh, Ohio. So that's about a 630-mile drive, and I I have enough time to finish that today, so I'm gonna be delivering again first thing tomorrow morning. So let's get that. Let's get down. Before I get on the road, I just pulled into this big parking spot here. It's next to a McDonald's and a Culver's. So I decided I'm gonna go get some lunch um, at Culver's, see what they got up in there. Kinda hungry, kinda hungry, guys. What you guys want? You want a burger? You guys want a burger from Culver's? A bunch of burger, a plain burger? <laughs> Ziki, Ziki's sick. He can't have nothing. I don't know what's going on with him. He's been, he's been having the doo-doos, the Hershey squirts. All right, y'all, we about to stop and get some fuel. We about to get some diesel. Fill my baby blue up.
Ranger, though, if I could get uh, uh, some words out before Zeke starts barking, that would be great. It is a beautiful day today. The sunset going down. Oh. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it a night here. I'm a little bit farther than what I wanted to be. I'm about three hours and three and a half hours away from my delivery for tomorrow morning. But it actually turns out that the load that I thought I had, I thought I had this whole load, had this whole week planned out. Uh, I had some booked loads, but um, I have, I'm not booking my own loads this week. They got the dispatch working on that this week. So um, I had the load that I'm supposed to pick up after I deliver this load turned out to be a flatbed only load. So that got canceled. And then I had another load booked after that one that was picking up in Tennessee going to Arkansas. So if I can't find something going close to like Memphis, Tennessee for pickup tomorrow morning in Ohio, in uh, New Carlisle, New Carlisle, Ohio, then we're gonna have to cancel two loads. That's the only bad thing about booking ahead, people. If anything happens, then you gotta, you gotta cancel more than one load. I don't know if I wanna park next to this trailer. Look, his landing gear is crooked as hell, boy. Oh, it's broken. That shit is broken. Um, I don't know if I want to park here, dude. What the hell? Carloso, Little Red Carlos. I was ranting. I was. I was no. I was ranting to him the whole time I was delivering, so uh, didn't get very much commentary on that load. Sorry, I let you guys know. I'm driving. I delivered to like some fire department thing in the middle of some little town, and uh, I lost my pickup, so I gotta pull over right here. I'm about to drive away, acting like I got a load to go pick up, and I have no idea where I'm going. But I'm about, to, I'm about to check my email and see if I got a load sent to me. If not, I need to sit my happy foot down because I have nowhere to go. Alright guys, I'm on my way to pick up my next load and I don't even know if I'm going to make it because they stopped loading at 2pm. So it says, right now it says I'm going to get there at like 2.09. 2.09 and... That's already past 2 p.m. And I don't know if they're going to be willing to stay. Most people are not willing to stay for us in Lotus. You have to come across a really nice person to do that. But um, we are 101 miles away, an hour and 35 minute dead head drive there. So uh, let's see if we make it. Let's see if we get loaded today. So we are coming from New Carlisle, Ohio, going to... Batesville, Indiana. Um, so I'm going back towards Indianapolis. And I'm going back the way I came, basically. I came from Indianapolis. So I'm not sure what this load is. No idea what I'm picking up. But I was told they stopped for, uh, shipping at 2. So I really doubt these people are going to wait for me. Uh, I'm just hoping they can respond in a good enough time to figure out if I'm going to get loaded or not because then if they figure out if they're going to load me or not then I have a chance to get another load um, 
before they stop shipping. I think this is the broker right now. next pickup oh my god I don't even want to talk about it, it got messed up yesterday clicked on an address that uh, my dispatcher sent me and it didn't bring me to the Indiana one it brought me to the Ohio one so I did not make my pickup yesterday <laughs> oh, so we're here this morning and nobody's here nobody is here this morning I don't know if they just decided to not work today or what, if they're coming. I think I'm about to call my dispatch and figure out what's going on because it's already been over an hour, it feels like. This lady, the broker on the phone said, I need a four foot tarp. You got me fucked up if you think I am tarping this stone. Like what it is sitting outside, dude. And it is stone. This does not need to be tarped. This is just ridiculous. Like yeah, let me go ahead and destroy my uh my nice purple tarps on this stone. I just might do that. It is a beautiful day today though. That is what I can say. It is a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. I was gonna get my truck washed yesterday too, thank God I didn't do that. We need these people to come load us, baby. We need these people to come load us. Ah, oh, Benji. All right, guys, that looks like, <laughs> I didn't have any dunnage either to put underneath these, so we're just gonna have to pull them without dunnage. I had dunnage when I had first started, but uh, I left my dunnage, the tarps, and the coil racks with the other trailer, the flatbed trailer because they had brought me all new stuff, but I just didn't get coil racks and a dunnage, so. I should have got some a double C canvas when I was there. So I don't know how this person's gonna lift these up without the dunnage there, but I hope they can get it up. I can't believe they actually said they wanted this tarp. The broker said they wanted it tarped. Hey, no way in hell I'm tarping this shit. These are some big ass stones. I don't know how much these weigh, but I think he's stacking another one up there. Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say I'm getting kind of worried. Uh, if you got, I usually can tell if I'm overweight on my back because my tire will start bulging out. All right, let me tell him where to put this. All right, you can come a little bit more forward. Uh, back a little bit. That's good. That's good. Woo! Rocks flew out of there. Is it hanging off the other side? I gotta go look at this. Look at me in the place. There's gonna be four rows of three in each. I'm about to put this lap, this last lap, <laughs> this last uh, stack on my top deck right here. I'm just telling them where to situate them and everything, how I want them. And then I think I go to the, I'm gonna go to the scale first before I strap. 
and I make sure my weight's all good and then I'll be good to strap up at the scale. I'm pretty sure I've seen that other driver do that. His workers were here on time, so he's already gone on down on the road. Must be nice, must be nice. I just realized it's Friday, guys. I have to try to deliver this load today so I can get a reload so I'm not stuck in uh, Tennessee on the weekend. I gotta be able to deliver this load today. I just realized that and this guy's wasting my time showing up to work late. Woo! Oh my goodness. This is a bad, bad situation that I'm in right now. Oh goodness. All right, y'all, we are heading up back to the scale house. We're about to go get this baby weighed. He said, yeah. He's like, I don't know if you heard, he's like, but them goofies started a new thing. He said, not us, but wherever you're delivering to. He said, them goofies made it to where they're telling you got new drivers to tarp it, I guess. And I was like, oh yeah. I was like, I don't want to tarp these. I'm like, they're going to rip right through my tarps. And he's like, yeah. He said, they never used to do that before. They just started it. He's like, I don't know why these things sit outside in the sun all day. They're just sitting right here in the dirt and they want this thing tarped. A bullshit? A bullshit, a bullshit, a bullshit. No, rip right through my baby purple tarps, boy. Look at this dude. No edge protectors. Yikes. That's kind of scary. in Tennessee now. Sorry, it's been hectic. Zeke is throwing up like twice today. I'm not sure. I might have to get him to a vet. He's been uh, having the doo-doos for the past week or so. I tried to take his food away for like 24 hours to see if that would help, but it didn't work. I just, I fed him yesterday and he just threw it all up this morning. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Zeke Poo yet, but he seems pretty sick, like his stomach is upset. And also, I noticed that uh, I'm not gonna be able to deliver this load today by their cutoff, but we called the receiver and they might stay, they might have somebody stay later for me, I'm not sure yet, but if not, I might try to get Zeke into the vet, try to find a vet somewhere where I can Uber or or walking distance where I can park somewhere. Like the last time I had to do it for Benji, I parked at a mall. I actually bobtailed my truck there because uh, there was like an abandoned mall I was parked at. But, so this kind of just, I kind of messed up this weekend. I didn't have the right address in yesterday and I showed up to the wrong place and then, cause I was supposed to pick up this load yesterday and now I'm picking it up today supposed to be delivering it I should have been in Tennessee this morning delivering it picking up my reload so I fucked that all up and now the whole weekend's kind of fucked up but it's all right because <laughs> Zeke might have to go to the vet anyways I had an ortho this week this weekend uh I was gonna try to make it too but that's messed up now <sighs> but I don't know these people said they might stay they might stay late for me so we'll see we'll see might be able to get unloaded today. It's a it's a six hour drive, so I'll probably get there at like four or something, four p.m. in uh, Linden, Tennessee. 
but we'll see if we're gonna get all out. This is freaking weird. This is freaking weird, Zeke. What are they gonna do with these big stones? I don't know, but we're in the middle of nowhere at somebody's house. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Wonder where he's at. So I was actually able to deliver this load today. So that worked out. At least I got to deliver it today. I'm getting unloaded right now. Ooh, ooh. One by one. And it's even harder because I don't got dunnage, but it's okay. We'll get there today. We'll get there today. I feel bad for this guy. He said his day was pretty busy too. Both had a long day today. Ziki too. Ziki's pretty sick, I think. But um, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't really got service out here. I'm pretty sure my dispatcher sent me another load, but I'm not sure. I can't see what it is because I have no service out here. Um, so I do have time to pick up a load tonight and run with it a little bit longer, but uh, it's, it's most likely for Saturday. It's most likely for Saturday. And also, I'm getting a lot of comments saying these are touching my tires. They're not touching my tires. I don't know if that's too close or not. If it's not supposed to be like that, but the other side isn't either, you guys. Getting a lot of comments saying it's touching my tire. But it is indeed not. I'm about to show you guys the proof proofuses. <laughs> <laughs> Not touching, but it kind of is close, I guess. I have to get them to look at that. But I'm I'm just kind of hoping that I can get a load out of here today, so I'm not sitting around in the middle of nowhere at some truck stop when I could be driving. Um, but we'll see. Once I get out of here and get some service, I'll see what he sent me and see what the load's looking like. And uh, how you feeling, Zeke? How you feeling, Zeke? Oh, my little baby shack. My little baby shack. All right, let's see how he picks these babies up. Can't get this one up, I don't think. All right, y'all. We gotta back out of this driveway and then pull forward into another driveway <laughs> and then do a little loop de loop. And then uh, turn back out the way I came in.
not too shabby, not too shabby. This is a, somebody else's drive right here that I'm about to do a loop de loop in. It says fire, Cedar Creek Fire Department. This is what a, a country fire department looks like, guys. Firemen on deck. was still tight turn a tight u-turn all right now as soon as i turn left out of this driveway here oh my gosh guys the way in here was so scary i did not feel comfortable at all like the road was so tiny and they had some huge drop-offs i was like if another car comes around this corner like i'm going off this edge like, it was just ridiculous, but I'm gonna go back the same way I came. I, my GPS is not gonna be working right now. So. My whole trailer was just lifted off the ground. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe they have semis come through here, man. just missed that guardrail guys oh now i got a car behind me this dude's gonna be very impatient hey buddy i got rocks on my trailer you might want to back up <laughs> to go into the truck stop use the bathroom first oh i gotta wake up i got my coffee uh. i'm gonna go inside use the bathroom and i'm gonna see if they got some blankets because i'm picking up this load that nate booked down for me last second yesterday guys it picks up on a saturday what is going on it picks up on a saturday but it is metal sheets and it has to be tarped they are gonna like destroy my tarps man so i'm gonna go at least go inside and see if they got anything up there to protect if not i'm gonna try to put my blankets on there i don't care if they get ruined i just don't want my tarps to get ruined <laughs> i forgot to tell y'all i got unloaded yesterday by um the receiver of those stones because i talked to the actual guy who was receiving them and not the broker because the broker i just kept i kept calling the broker and i asked them like what's the latest they can receive this and they said like they wouldn't take it past three and um i really wanted to get it delivered so i called the receiver and i told him my eta and he said that he'd have somebody wait for me so it all worked out good that's what that's what i that's the one of the reasons why i started to not just talk to the broker and it is always good to talk to the people who you're delivering to because they'll tell you better information than the broker will most of the times the broker will just like say like nah these are the hours like you can't deliver 
So <clears throat> that that was why I got on Luda. So it it is a it is a good reason to to make sure you call the actual receiver. And I, when I worked in my last company, I always did that. I always called and made sure the hours correct, or if it was appointment or first come first serve. It's always a good thing to do that. So sometimes you can't get unloaded. Sometimes it'll work out. But I'm three minutes to my pickup in Osa 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 Osceola Osceola Arkansas. That's how you say it. I'm three minutes from my pickup. I'm gonna pick up these metal sheets and tarp them. I stopped at the Loves down the street. I forgot to look at the pilot that I slept at this morning to see if they had blankets to protect my my things, my tarps. But I looked. I stopped at this Loves that's like 10 miles down the street and they did not have anything. They had like this little like knitted blanket that I grabbed. But I think I'm just gonna put my blankets on top of the metal, you guys, because I don't really have, like just my like sleeping blankets because I don't have anything to protect my tarps and I really don't want them to get ripped again, so. I'll see how that works. My buddy Carlos said that they're probably just going to rip the blankets, but I'm just going to try at least. Alright y'all, my stomach just dropped all the way into my ass. I got so scared. They got this, the shipping and receiving gate closed right here. Oh, I thought they didn't load on weekends. I went and walked up into that building. I tried calling the number and they say, call this number, do not walk into the office. But it wasn't answering, nobody's answering. So I went and walked into the office and nobody was there. It wasn't really an office, but I walked into that building and I found like a metal worker and the guy kept saying, the guy he was, Mikey walkie talking to <laughs> said he's not opening the gate but I guess he was just joking so now I have to wait for this guy to come open the gate come on I thought I was gonna get loaded all right the guy just came and opened the fence I don't know bro this is weird he's like acting like he's like you had an appointment he's like you were scheduled to pick up I was like yeah and he was like today like yeah dude why else would I be here oh I said, yeah, I had an appointment at 8 a.m. this morning. And he's like, have you been here before? I was like, no. And then he threw his arms down. He's like, damn, he's like, did you already walk all the way up to that building up there? I said, yeah. And he said, oh, I wish I would have known that. And he's like, I would have told you to fill out all your paperwork before you came over here. He's like, now you gotta drive to the back and walk all the way up to the front. I'm like, all right, that means I get loaded. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna get out of here anytime soon. Like this place is filled with people that seem like they just don't wanna work. It looks like there's like no management here. They just got like six or seven people working the weekend and they're just doing whatever they want. They just got people sitting outside. The the guys who came and helped me, he's like, oh yeah, like I'll come and let you know like when you can get loaded. And he went out in the front and started smoking with him and his friends. Like, you guys aren't even doing anything here. All right, y'all, this is the load right here. Got some sheets of metal. Got in the center of my trailer. I'm about to tarp this baby. By the way, I'm about to strap her first, but I'm about to get the blankets from the inside of my truck and throw them on there, get as much protection as I can. They might just slice through them, but hey, I'm trying to protect my tarps here, so.
how uh, my front looks. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I did not do it tight or anything on this load. I just did it. Try to do it as loose as I could. I do not want these tarps to get messed up. Um, so I'm gonna see if the front stays like that. I tried to put the tire there. I just left this part folded in. I wanna put a ratchet strap on it, but there's a piece that's sticking out farther than the bottom that'll probably push through my tarp. So I'm just trying to keep it as loose as possible. It does not look pretty at all, but uh, I'm gonna go try to find, find this guy and see if I can get my paperwork and uh, head on down the road. Uh, hopefully it stays how I want it to. Hopefully it don't get damaged. Alright guys, we made it to the yard. I get to go home until like Sunday at like 2 a.m. Monday basically. I gotta take off like Sunday 1 a.m. 2 a.m. to deliver this load in uh, Grand Prairie, Texas. I don't know where Benji thinks he's going. Benji, the car's right here, dude. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Where are you going? We gotta go home! But I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate all your love and support. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably me delivering this tarp load that fucked up my tarps in uh, Grand Prairie, Texas on Monday. Let's get it. See ya. Funny, cause I'm in control. Hit night and drink to see a couple shots of Patron. I ain't feeling nice. I get your eyes to pay. Party pop, shot a sister coming with me tonight. I ain't self-deleting. I ain't snapping and popping. Neither I'm bobbing my head.